a lot of women want this perfect type of dude that they would never get where he's always 100% of the time romantic. He has zero baggage. He never makes any mistakes. And y'all fall short every time because men are not perfect. You're not even perfect. Everybody has some form of baggage. This is why you see a lot of women repost on like their Instagram or TikTok of guys that's just like, yes, you a queen. And when you wake up in the morning, I'm going to rub your feet and have rose petals in your uh, bath water and stuff like that. And it's like, girl, unless it's Valentine's Day or your birthday, you're not getting that type of dude. This is reality. And this is why you need to get off of social media. Let's wake the hell up to reality before you push your man into another woman. Y'all have all these expectations for your man. Uh, but when it comes to you, you fall flat when he wants you to show up properly. And no, I'm not talking about all women. But way too many of y'all will try to compare. That's the problem. Y'all try to compare what you see other people doing. Don't know what they have going on in their relationships. And you looking at your man like, well, damn, why you ain't taking me to Thailand? And it's like, girl, didn't I just take you to Jamaica? I ain't got it like that to be just bouncing here and there. So be grateful what the fuck you got now. Hell, man, put up with your shit because he love you. Hell, he know it's hard out for him, too. Yo, what's up, guys? Back again with another video for the past poor bros. First and foremost, please hit that like, comment, subscribe button. It helps the channel a lot, and I appreciate it very, very dearly. Now, today we have our sister speaking up for the reality and the delusional standards that a lot of these Western women have looking for a dude. They want Mr. Right, Mr. Perfect, that high value man. But they want him to be the perfect man. He can't just be any old regular man. He can't be no dusty man, no, no, no. I don't got no job, man. I ain't got no car, man. He got to be perfect in every way, shape, and form. He has to buy you flowers, take you nice, take you on nice, expensive dates. Then after, take you out shopping, get you that Louis, Gucci, Fendi, Woody, Woody. Bust a bag, spin a bag, break a bag on you like it's nothing. Come back the next day, do the same thing all over again. That's what they would consider a perfect man. AKA perfect simp. They want a servant. Damn near peasants. That's going to be putting her on a pedestal at all times, all day, every day. 24 seven. They want you to put the lace front on the pedestal. They want you to put the, 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 the red bottoms on the pedestal. They want you to put the BBL on the pedestal. All of this on the pedestal. They want you to be Mr. Perfect. But quick break, guys. I just wanted to introduce to you the free money-making guide to become a passport bro and sustain your lifestyle overseas. How to make money as a passport bro working remotely. Get your guide now. Join the community. The link is in the description below and in the comment section as well. Let's get this money, guys. Meanwhile, are they perfect? Are these women perfect? Coming with the attitudes, the long tiger nails, the spider leg eyelashes, the lace fronts that need extra glue. The lace front of insecurity within itself is not perfect. And you need to adjust it. But here you are speaking about the men. Oh, they need to be perfect. He need to do this. He need to do that. All these expectations. But are you perfect? When have you ever been perfect? And what are you doing as a woman to be that Miss Perfect, that perfect woman. See, a lot of these women themselves are not interested 
in improving themselves, let alone improving themselves for a man, a man, even just saying, oh, you should improve yourself for a man. You should, you know, evolve yourself. You should learn more. You should like, you know, improve your skills and, and, and you know, learn something new for a man. That within itself to a lot of women feels like an insult. It seems like, 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 like you asking her to be a slave. You asking her to be a peasant. You asking her to roll over and be somebody's donkey or something. They have no willingness to improve themselves or to be perfect themselves, but expect you to be everything and perfect. Not just on Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays. No, no, no. Every day. Every day of the week, you need to be perfect. Every second, every hour, you need to be Mr. Perfect. You can't have off days. You can't have days where you're feeling tired, feeling stressed. That would be considered unacceptable for these Western women today. You have to be the guy, the perfect guy at all times, all day, every day. As ridiculous and as unrealistic as that may sound, that is what they're looking for. And if you're not able to be that, if you're not able to exemplify that in every way through finances, how you carry yourself, how you dress, how you treat her, how you provide, how you support, how you protect, she feels as if she's settling. She feels as if you're not good enough. She herself is looking for somebody better. And you could be a, a, a great dude. You could be a, a great guy that has a great job, doing well for yourself. You hitting the gym. You look good, smell good, dress nice, well-educated, well-articulated. Got a few businesses under his belt, a few passive income streams. And yet they'll still say, mm, he's still not good enough. He's not good enough. It will never be good enough because a lot of them themselves are not good enough. And their insecurities, oftentimes they're looking to you as a man to compensate for, and they're projecting their not good enough attitude onto you. And these type of women are the type of women that will never be happy. Regardless, whatever they do, whatever they say, whatever they're looking for, they will always find themselves in misery. They will never truly find exactly what they're looking for and that's going to lead them to a state of unhappiness. And if you're around these type of women, if you associate and interact with these type of women, they're going to bring that same level of misery into your environment, your kingdom, your life. And I ask you, fellow men, is this what you want for your life? Is this the type of woman that you think is deserving of your value? Is this the type of woman that you think is deserving of your resources, your time, your effort, your energy, your money? If not, then you need to get your passport because as time goes on, there are more and more women who are thinking like this and have this perfect type mentality where everybody has to be perfect everything has to be perfect meanwhile they themselves are not perfect that same delusion is what is wreaking havoc in our society and it's spreading fast as wildfire and it's looking like the only option today that is an actual option that's actually working for actual men that i've seen is one either going mixed out and Staying by yourself and being alone and just choosing to not interact with these women or being a passport bro, going overseas and finding women from a different culture who think differently, who behave differently, 
who want better for themselves and who want a family. That's why I urge you fellow bros to be a passport bro and at least exercise your options overseas. Even if you don't find somebody or a woman that you, 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 you find that will be deserving of your value, at least you tried, at least you already established that line of communication with people over there that you can then reach out to if you ever do return. But you should absolutely be taking advantage of that option because it is a option that actually works. So with that being said, guys, continue to find good women that are happy, that are not expecting perfect in everything because that's not realistic. That being said, guys, if it ain't foreign, it's boring. If it ain't foreign, I'm ignoring. Passport goes we up. Please like, subscribe. Thank you, guys.